It finally, it just a word of, uh, you know, we've talked about this on, on the news roundups before, but it's, it's worth talking about again. Uh, what's going on in Pakistan is very, very scary. It's very, very scary because the country, I can't remember, the country has like a dozen different uh, terrorist organizations. It, it's, it, the country is not really a country. It's just a, a conglomerate of tribes. There's massive political uncertainty. There's economic collapse. Uh, the country is a, a complete and utter disaster. Um, and what makes this important, what makes this relevant to the rest of the world, is the fact that Pakistan is a nuclear power. It has a significant st stash of nuclear weapons, and, and it's in a conflict with India, and, and who knows what it does. In addition, uh, Pakistan, is, uh, you know, which has had an on-and-off warm-cold relationship with the United States, is, is now in a period of turning cold against the United States and is uh, seriously considering, um, uh, you know, much closer relationship with China. Now, whether China wants a much closer relationship with Pakistan, whether China wants to inherit this, this unbelievable mess that is Pakistan, whether China wants to get involved in, um, in, a, in, in a place that, is, uh, that has significant Islamist uh, forces uh, is hard to tell. But, uh, but Pakistan is, is a real ba basket gate right now. They just um, uh, arrested the opposition leader, the former prime minister, uh, Khan, who was um, so opposition leader, he, he was prime minister, had to resign. Again, a complete mess. He was just arrested on, on corruption charges. Uh, there's a chance of a kind of a civil war, but civil war in Pakistan would just be a tribal war. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how or if and how uh, uh, China would intervene, would get involved, if, if at all. Anyway, uh, Imran Khan is, is the name of the opposition leader. Anyway, this is a complete and utter disaster. And again, nobody would care, and I, I, I wouldn't care that much um, if this wasn't a nuclear power. But it is a nuclear power in, in, a, in a very dangerous part of the world, and it's something to watch. And, of course, uh, the, the Afghanistan Taliban that we have basically handed uh, Afghanistan to on a silver platter both uh, Trump and the uh, Biden administration have done that. Um, the, Afghani, the Afghans are just stirring it up and making it worse. And, uh, you know, they want to see a Pakistani collapse. Um, they, they, they would love to see Pakistan turn into an Islamic republic like themselves. And they would love to be able to have their hands, the Taliban, on uh, the nuclear arsenal that the Pakistanis have. Uh, imagine a nuclear arsenal in the hands of real, committed, suicidal, crazy Islamists. That is the risk in Pakistan. Now, I, I've always assumed the United States had a secret plan of uh, using special forces teams to go in and take all the uh, nuclear uh, uh, weapons facilities that Pakistanis have in case of... Uh, fear that they would fall into the hands of Islamists. I used to have a higher opinion of the U.S. military and U.S. strategic thinking about these things. I now am not convinced there is such a plan, but I would certainly, if I were in a commanding position in the U.S. military, have a plan to take over the nuclear facilities in Afghanistan to keep them away from the Islamists, even if it meant putting American troops on the ground in Pakistan and defending them by whatever means necessary, and ultimately dismantling Pakistan's nuclear program. Maybe the United States should initiate that anyway, uh, just initiate the dismantling of the Pakistani nuclear program, if that's at all possible. Don't know if it is. Uh, would have to uh, have access to uh, intelligence information I do not have. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, 
Thank you. I very much appreciate it.